So, it's Martin here with part two of your Ask Martin Anything for this week. Uh, we had a good few days. Make sure you like this. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, this is all related to hashtag Ask Martin, Ask Martin Monday on Twitter at TV Martin Roberts, where you can ask me anything. And property related, if you like, or not related, if you like. Let's get on. Paul. Hi, Martin. How do the makers of homes and Lava choose which properties they show in their program? So we go to the auctions. Or now, uh, obviously we're at online auctions. So we, I believe, ask the auctioneers to ask the people who've sold or bought rather, if they'd be happy to take part of the show. And that's how the sort of thing, this sort of sort of work. And we'll work back from, from that. But when the live auctions are, are there, we just go and we talk to people. And I think, will you take part? Gerald Jackson, hello, Gerald. Gerald Jackson, oh my gosh. Gerald Jackson, it was, the person I worked for, or alongside, probably for, when I started out my radio career 30 odd years ago. He worked, and still does I believe, at Radio Lancashire, and he's wonderful. And he is a true old school, brilliant broadcaster. And he taught me everything I know about editing, and he and somebody else who worked there taught me all everything I know about, about interviewing. Absolute superstar. Gerald, lovely to hear from you. And uh, yeah, thank you for everything you did for me. Awesome sauce. Um, he used to edit in the days before digital editing. This is when you use reel to reels, right? Reel to reel tape. That's what a lot of stuff's on the, on the background here. I've still got all my old reel to reel tapes. And you, to edit, there was no, you had to physically play from one tape to another and then re record it and then literally cut the tape with razor blades. It was like surreal. But you did. And he used to make these most elaborate radio things using the techniques that he had. And I actually learned from him and I did a report for which I sent to Radio 4 and using these techniques and the producer of a really important show on Radio 4 listened to this tape and she kept on going backwards and forwards to try and work out how I'd done it because she because it was so sophisticated and clever um wasn't my I mean I'd learned it and so yeah so it got my job on breakaway which led on to wish you were here which led on to uh which led on to um uh Homes and the Hammer so Gerald I owe you a lot anyway question hi Martin hi this is from 1930s in Leeds. What were the equivalent cost? Fantastic. A little bit more than 625 quid. <laughs> if only you'd bought a few from a few few of those in the day. <laughs> Look after yourself, Gerald. Keep in contact. Thank you for your questions. I always love your questions, Anna. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, classic or remake? Classic. Gotta be Gene Hackman. No. No. Dream Wilder. Gene Hackman. He was just not at work. Can you imagine Gene Hackman? Oh, Popeye Doyle from whatever it is. <laughs> Gene Wilder. Very funny. Uh, really? A new one was. Yeah, no. First one. Amazing. Thanks, so, Anna. Gareth Evans. Hello, Gareth. Besides having the best job on TV, whose job would you take right now? Win. <laughs> Who would I take? You know, I'd just like to get into music, so I'd like to, I'd like to be a lead singer with the Rolling Stones for the day. Or if you're talking about general jobs on television, I would like to do Ren Norton's job, radio and TV. Give me a radio TV show. Oh, actually, she's on Virgin now, isn't he? and uh, a, a, a BBC One chat show. That's me made. Fantastic. That would be it. Superb. Gemma B. Yeah, did, hi Martin. Did you get any chocker Easter eggs? Yeah, did I get chocker Easter eggs? I did, but somehow they've all disappeared. I don't know where they've gone. Guna Born and Bred. Hi there. Probably been asked a million times. Who edits the music for the properties? So it's the editors, right? They pick the music uh, and they hide in darkened rooms and da 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 uh, do a great job. Uh, Stubbsy, uh, Stubbsy, I just, um, this is, is this a trick question? I really don't know. What date this year did you celebrate Easter? I mean, is that a trick question? But let's just give a straight answer. Easter Sunday. Can't say more than that. Mark. Hi, Mark. Biggest profit you've seen on Homes and Hammer? Uh, some of the London properties. Yeah, half a million quid. I think somebody made flat, you know, poke a little nothing flat, which they bought quite cheap and did up, made it trendy, knocked down a few walls, sold it off a massive profit. Christopher Peacock, getting back to the important stuff. 
Martin, if you could only eat one biscuit ever again for the rest of your life, what are you eating and why? I look at you and I always think, Gary Baldy, I don't know why. Well, I, I don't know what to think when somebody says they look at me and just think, Gary Baldy? Are there are worse biscuits to be compared to? Um, so thanks, Christopher. That, that, yeah, I haven't had a Gary Baldy for years. I do like Gary Baldy. I think sort of like, I think he's better. So one biscuit forever and ever and ever. What, 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 rest of the day so here's the thing this goes back to childhood orange juice and ginger nuts try it if you haven't done it freshly squeezed orange juice and ginger nut biscuits just try it don't be cynical try it it's delicious elastic hello elastic hello hi martin my neighbor's just erected a fence in the back garden my right side there left right next to an old stone wall the fence is about a foot taller than the original wall and looks very out of place they didn't seem to bother to reform before and should they done so did they erect the fence on their side of the old stone wall or on yours because clearly they couldn't have erected it on yours depending on how i think they've got a right to erect a, a fence up to a certain height you need to check that out i think it's six foot anything above that you definitely need planning or something but the most important thing with neighborly things is you just got to talk to each other you know not have these kind of barges because it's a real shame but yeah they really should have talked to you before they put the wall up but if they did it on their side i think unless it's over a certain height and i need to check that i think it's over six foot then i don't think there's much you can do about it you might consider getting somebody to up the size of the wall on your side uh, using original materials from a, um, a salvage yard so it matches in. David, hi, Marmite, no. Blech. Marmite twiglets, vomit. You either do or you don't, and I don't. Yag. Simon Wright, hello Simon. If I buy a freehold house and convert it to two flats for rent, can I refinance as a whole, as the value of the flats would be under what I believe to be the mortgage minimum of 50k each? Also, what are your thoughts on Grimsby and investment area other than low prices? Well, Grimsby first, I liked it. I've only been there once a few weeks ago and I really thought it was great, yeah. And good good value homes, uh, nice place, so what's what's not to like? I bought a freehold house converted to two flats for rent. This is a whole. Yeah, I would have thought so. I'm not a mortgage broker though. So the main thing is you need to go to an independent mortgage broker and tell them the scenario and they will give you a definitive answer. Hello, I am Matthew, who always asks the most brilliantly convoluted and slightly out there weird questions. You are leaving work one evening to see that Nick Knowles has Dion Dublin in a headlock and Lauren Llewellyn Bowen is watching on chanting things like you're a bloody footballer and duff him up Nick. What's your first course of action? I think Dion could look after himself. I don't think Dion would be in a fight losing to Nick Knowles. So I think perhaps you have overstepped the boundaries of, of, of reality here. But I, I'd have to spring to his defence. I mean, I can't stand bullying. So I wouldn't, if he, you know, I, he's a colleague and a buddy. I wouldn't, couldn't have anyone being tacked, let alone a colleague and a buddy. So I would wade in there and 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 drop kick Nick Knowles and release Dion from his headlock. But as I said, I think you're slightly beyond the realms of possibility there because Dion's a, um, a strong guy. So Barbie Lillywhite. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Martin. We would like some advice on what paint to use. We need a nice white top coat, but sadly most of them go yellow after a short while. Any ideas? Ones that don't dry as you use them and don't leave brush marks. We're struggling. Thank you. So I've been using Dulux once a lot and it seems to do a very good job, even though I mean, you can put it on top of all sorts of things because it's a primer stroke, undercoat stroke, you know, everything. Although I don't think it's a primer. I think it's just an undercoat and a top coat. It sort of bonds to most things and... I haven't had any problems with yellowing. I mean, you just got to assume that you're going to have to repaint, you know, after a reasonable amount of time. Yeah, try that. Try, try Dulux once. Just a few more to go. Scarlet Mark, next question. What would you choose as your walk-on song? Well, I quite like What Have You Done Today to make yourself feel proud. I think that, uh, I think, you know, just you want motivational songs, don't you? Like Greatest Day, a walk-on song. Or, or maybe, I don't know, Always Look on the Bright Side of Life. I think that's actually a funeral song, isn't it? <laughs> I did a piece to camera last week. In a house in, I can't remember where it was, Wales. And uh, I repeated the word potential four times and made great fun of myself in the piece of camera. So look out for that. When you see the potential piece of camera, you'll hopefully remember this conversation we're having right now. You know, oh, Martin told me about that a few months ago. And it'll probably be about six or ten months or whatever long it takes for that story to filter into the system. But if you see a show in the future where I talk about the potential piece of camera, let me know. You've got me lying. <laughs> so I remember you're talking about that some ramble many months ago. 
Those are your questions for this week. Quite a few. Thank you. Keep them coming. Don't forget, hashtag Ask Martin Monday on my Twitter, at TV Martin Roberts. Yeah, subscribe to this, uh, like this, and I will be back with more questions for you next time. Well, next week even. <laughs> Have a good week.